Good morning everyone, so today it is, I always do this with my it really bugs me when I edit, I'm editing it back. I don't know why I do that, it's like my limbs are attached to my vocal cords, so when I say, good morning my arm goes up. <laughs> anyway, me and my mum are off to TK Maxx as usual, so I thought I'd vlog. I think we're addicts, my mum's definitely an addict. I mean like an interior addict, not anything else. I'm gonna call the title of this vlog, my mum's an addict. So if you think, like when you see this video, my mum's like some sort of drug addict. She's not, she's just in addicted to TK Maxx. So we're gonna TK Maxx. We're also gonna nip to another few shops. It is New Year's Eve today, so that means tomorrow it is 2017. Thank God. Although, not thank God, because that means this year I'm gonna uni. This year I've gotta be an adult, and uh, I'm not really looking forward to any of that. So yeah. We're going to TK Maxx, so I thought I'd take you along for the ride, enjoy the waves of life with me. Don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm going to show you my outfit. So, I'm currently stood on my brother's bed, which I apologise for. My room's a mess, again, already. But I'm wearing this top, which I ordered not long ago off ASOS. Don't know what it says. I think it says damaged. Anyway, I've got my jersey on, some mom jeans, and then my new vans. As you can see, the bedroom's a mess already. Love it. So my mum ordered this elf outfit for George, and as you all know, George is probably the fattest dog ever. And it arrived this size. That is my hand, and you know how big George is. <laughs> okay, so my mum likes to do this thing where she tells me to get ready, but then don't actually get ready yourself, so then I'm stood waiting for like hours, and my mum's just like, oh, are you ready to go? And it's like, no, I've just been stood ready for hours in the kitchen waiting, and she's messing around, I don't even know what she's doing. Okay, so another hour has passed. I'm now in the car, but as you can see, uh, my mum's not in the car because she's just having a, like an hour long talk with my dad. So, another hour will pass before she gets in the car. Thanks, mum. So, time to call this thing. Yeah. Ah! So that were a fail, mum tried to take her shoes back to JD and they don't have them. So now, excuse me while I get in car, now we're going to have to go to Meadowall after TK Maxx, which I can't wait for. Oh, I could go in every outfit and yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. We've arrived at TK Maxx, aka home. Whoa! Let's go. Mum's been looking around gym stuff for like an hour and it's really getting boring now. <laughs> I love that chair. So I wanted like a journal to plan my life basically. And all the nice ones that I wanted have gone, all the marble ones have gone. I'm so emotional. <laughs> right, so I found these and I'm indecisive of which one to get. I like this one because it's full marble and I can stick a photo of a gold getter. I just hate the word gold. But then that one's cute as well. I'm gonna get this. I think I'm getting this one. So we've just come out of TK Maxx and I bought some stationery stuff. I bought like a big thing and a little thing. I'll show you when I get home. A big but, thing and a little thing. Well, I don't know what that big thing <laughs> is. I know little thing's a notebook, but I don't know what that big thing is. It's like a clipboard, but, but it's, it's not like It's a not a clipboard too. though, is it? Oh, I wonder what that's gonna be. That looks posh. Well, anyway, I'll show you when I get home. The marble, I like them. Now we're off to Meadowall because my mum needs to take her shoes back. I tried to take them back for the other day, so I had to carry them all the way around Meadowall. Then uh, mum tried to take them back again today, Crystal Peaks. And now we've got to go back to Meadowall. Because they don't sell them. Loving life. Not really. Yeah, really. Yeah. Loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you look at me like that then? You're so vlogophobic. <laughs> You're so vlogacist. Vlogacist. Yeah. Oh. It's alright. That man. Mum, I'm trying to talk. I've been trying to say this sentence for about sure? ten minutes, oh, and you, you keep boring. interrupting me. La, 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 la. Basically, what I was trying to say is that man looked at me weird. Bye. So we're back from wherever we've just been. We went to TK Maxx. We tried to go to Medwell and it was closed. We've just had a McDonald's, and I bought some cute stationery stuff from. Uh, TK Maxx, so like I was saying, I bought 
a little notebook. This is going to be my notebook that I take to college with me because obviously I need to have a notebook and I'm just going to plan some stuff in this as well. So this was a 3 dollars from TK Maxx. I then picked up this which is going to be something that I'm just going to keep at home. Don't really know like what I'm going to use it for. Probably plan videos and stuff. Stuff that I just do, can do at home. And that is this. It says Goal Getter on the front which I'm not really too keen on. Like I'm not sure if I actually showed this in shop. I'm not sure if I like that it says that, but it's marble. I like the little gold clip on the front. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna clip a photo on there that covers this, or just stick a photo over there that covers this. I'm gonna use this as like a scrapbook. It's just got lined paper inside. But yeah, that were only 4 99 so I picked it up, and it's marble, I like it. Yeah, that's basically what I got from TK Maxx. So now what I thought I'd do is I'm going to write my New Year's resolutions, or not even resolutions, just things I want to achieve slash do in the New Year. And then I'm going to pop them in this little jar. And I'm going to put this little jar somewhere safe so this time next year we can sit, open this, and see what I've done. I thought it'd be a cool idea. Just, I was going to do it as a main channel video, but then it's not really like main channel worthy. So I'm just going to pop some stuff in there. And then we'll come back this time next year and see if I've achieved them or if they've just flopped like everything normally does for me. Okay, so I've wrote them all on this piece of paper. I'm not going to stop and show you them because you'll have to find out next year. That means you've got to stick around and wait a whole year to find out what I wrote. I'm probably going to open this again in a main channel video, so make sure you're subscribed. I'm just going to fold them all up. I'll show you this one. This is just like the genericest one ever. But it says, drink more water because I really do need to drink water. And next year I really want to look after my health. I feel like everyone says that, but I generally want to. It's the first year I've actually really wanted to. So hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, I stick to that. Well, that's just one of them. So, <clears throat> into the jaw it goes. I nearly missed it. <laughs> See, they're all in there. There's quite a lot actually. But I don't have to do them all. Some of them are only little, some of them are quite big. But, that's it. This will not be opened until this very day next year. In fact, I'm going to write on this. That's it. All done and dusted. Now it's time to put this. I were going to put it in my wardrobe, but I've got this like little box where I put a jump around. It's just a tin with like a jump around. And I keep all like... When I'm editing videos, like my hard drive's in there, my um, camera charges are in there, chargers, earphones, my iPad. So, I'm going to take all this out and put it in the bottom of here. But yeah, that's my 2016, 2017 New Year's resolutions all gone in that little tub. Now it's time to pack this tripod away and get ready because I'm meant to be going to a New Year's Eve party. Basically, the local like sports club it's called, it's just basically like a pub where there's like a football and football pitch and stuff. They always have a New Year's party and me and, my, me and Ella have got tickets. We're going with Hannah, who's my school friend, Brooke, who's my school friend, and Courtney, who's my school friend. We're all meeting up, going to this New Year's Eve party. I went last year. In fact, no, I didn't go last year. I went the year before. And we're all going. I think it'll be nice to see everyone. So I need to start getting ready for that because everyone's meeting around at Hannah's for like free drinks and stuff but you know what I don't want to drink I'm not gonna drink at all I'm not gonna drink a single drop of alcohol because I'm just not feeling it no other reason I'm just not feeling it I want to enjoy myself although I'm the type of person that can enjoy themselves with or without a drink like I can just dance on a dance floor throw my limbs everywhere whether or not I've had alcohol or not which I think is pretty good so I'm not gonna drink shout out to the non-drinkers out there Woo! But yeah, probably should start getting ready for that. So I will see you in a little while. So I'm having like the biggest dilemma ever, even though it's literally not the biggest dilemma ever. But I don't know what to wear. I feel like everyone else is going to be wearing shirts and stuff, but I absolutely hate dressing anyway in what looks smart. Like that's not me at all. So I've got this like flowy shirt on. In fact, it's quite see-through. But I've got this on, tucked in some black jeans, and then I've got my new uh, vans on which just tries to make this outfit less like fancy and then I've got my hat on because my hair is awful and it's just really making me not want to go after I've had that massive dilemma I've decided you know what I'm not gonna go to try and impress anyone else I'm just gonna wear whatever I want so I'm literally wearing the grey top I wore the other day 
black t-shirt underneath, chain, chain, it's not a chain, it's like a choker, this denim jacket, and then black jeans, and my new shoes, because you know what, I really don't care about anyone else, I'm just gonna have fun with my friends, also, I'm wearing a hat because I tried to do my hair and then ended up putting too much product in it and now it just looks greasy and I've not got time to do anything about it, so that's the thing. Okay, so I'm walking up to my friend Hannah's house now. I'm literally at the bottom of a road. Sorry, I keep looking under the camera. I don't know where I'm walking because it's dark and I've got both my hands around my camera so I can't see what's in front of me. So, I'm walking around to Hannah's now. I think we're staying in there for a bit. Then we're walking down to where the party is, but I'm not sure. I'm tired already and I just want my bed. But yeah, I've decided that I'm not going to be a boring arsehole and stay in. <laughs> Blue tickets! Right, are you ready? Are you ready? Hello! Right, here's your first string. If you can't tell, Ella's strong. Right, you're very much. Oh, you're very chubby. What have you done? Oh, sorry. Sorry, it's really shit. I'm the other one that's drinking. So I thought I'd take a bite to the free food. That's good. <laughs> As you will just so I just left Ella. I didn't feel much when I was there because obviously the music was super loud and there were a lot of people around and you know what I'm like. Anyway, I tried to film as much as I could. It was super funny. Everyone else had a drink except me. So like you'll see a few of my friends drunk, especially Ella. Ella were really drunk. Anyway, Ella's gone around to a nana's now, which is literally around the corner from mine, so I might pop over there in a little while. But I made sure I'm just in time for the new year, so I could celebrate with my mum and dad, they were only sat watching the TV, watching that firework thing in London on TV. But next year I'm probably not going to be here because obviously I go to uni and stuff so I thought it was important to come home and just see mum and dad. Because I can party next year, I can party whenever I want but I thought you know what, I'm going to spend it with my mum and dad. So it's like 15 minutes to go so let's go downstairs, watch the fireworks and just enjoy being with mum and dad. Let's go. Happy New Year! Woo! Family, act alive! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this is where I get my party animal spirit from. <laughs> Woo! It's New Year! Woo! <laughs> Right, I just want to talk about this. It's basically, it's 1am and I tweeted this at 12. Well, it was, it was just past 12, what time? One minute past 12. So I basically tweeted, now you got to stick by my lame ass for another year, okay? I got you back if you got mine. And then I did the like pinky finger, like pinky swear promise thing. And look how sweet you are. I'm going to put you all in the vlog because I love you all so much. Me 
Okay, I am gonna end the vlog down here. Like I said, it's 1 a.m. I'm gonna go to bed. Happy New Year. I love you all so, so much. Honestly, that on Twitter just warmed my heart. And I'm so, so thankful for each and every one of you. So, if you're excited for the New Year, then please do smash a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'm so excited to see where my channel gets in the new year and where like what amazing stuff we do. I'm going to say this in this vlog so I can look back on the end of the year but my channel is currently on 24,565 subscribers. So I will come back to this vlog a year later and we'll see where we've gone. I'm so excited for the new year honestly. I might not look at it because I'm tired right now but yeah. I am going to end the vlog. I love you all lots and happy new year. <sighs> Let's make 2017 the best year yet. And yeah, I will see you in the morning. I love you all lots. Again, like, I love you all lots. Bye!